test, test, microphone test, 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 microphone test, 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 microphone test, lights, camera, action. Today we're doing the whimsical macabre. This is an acorn scar. This is an acorn. Tate, let me do that one more time. This is an acorn squash. What if we just fucking forgot about all the rules of summer food versus winter food, and we just fucking followed our hearts? A salty kiss, a lip upon your lip, a greasy crisp, a crisp potato chip, cook it in your bones, cook it from the hip, rub it, cook. We take it steps, we flip, sing it, we twist, rub it, cook. Rubbish everywhere, so let's just let it rip, rubbish cook. Rubbish everywhere, so let's just let it rip. Rubbish cook. I have in mind to make a face in this squash. So I'm gonna put the holes in line with the face. Maybe one on the back for good measure. And that's it. I'm gonna roast this bad boy. I'm gonna put it right here on this tray. But then I also had some kind of gnarly Russell sprouts in the fridge, so I trimmed them up and I quartered the big ones and I have the small ones. I'm gonna toss these with some oil and get them roasting around that thing as well. Once it's tender, then I'm gonna remove the seeds and carve it up. And it's gonna be the vessel for our beautiful mujadra dish. It's a dish of Iraqi origin first noted in a cookbook in 1226. So I've been extensively reading about the 13th century today. What's going on in Europe? The Dark Ages, baby. Not quite the time of the high plagues yet, but it is a time of treatises, battles, skirmishes. It's the rise of dynasties, kingdoms, uh, the expansion of the Mongolian Empire, the Golden Horde in Western Asia. Imagine the Mongols sacking the city of Baghdad, just throwing all the books from the House of Wisdom into the Tigris River. Oh! This dish comes from that period of time. Oh! I'm glad I didn't live in the 13th century, but I'm glad that whoever did managed to make it through and give birth to us. Thank you so much. Choppy choppy. Not how I would usually attack an onion. But there you have it, folks. Different strikes for different blokes. So now we'll just chop our onion. I'm gonna put these in the pan. You're crying, I'm crying. David, stop crying. I'm gonna fry the onions. So we are going to caramelize these bad boys. Um, it'll take some minutes to get a nice color developed, but color equals flavor, so we're not going to shy away from that. Onion! I'm huge on onions, bro. Ask anybody, ask Pablo Neruda. I'm fucking big on onions. I wrote a poem about onions, I did. I made a whole soup about divination done with onions. So don't even get me started on my affiliation with onions. We add salt now so we can season from inside out. And salt is hydroscopic, it pulls moisture out of vegetables. And when you're caramelizing onion, you want the water to come out so we can get it nice and brown. What's this? Some kind of wine. I am gonna have some in my drinking mouth, but I'm also gonna put some in this bowl. Look at that little nugget petite or Are you a petite or Oh, did I startle you? I got some of my white balls. I like it, you know? It's uh, vinegar, so it's tart, it's sour, it's tangy, but it also has like a gentle sweetness. <gasps> I got some dried cranberries. I'm gonna nuke this. And by nuking this, I'm going to plump up the cranberries. Go! 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 Yes. 
I'm using black beluga lentils today. So these lentils have been par-cooked in salty water for about 10 minutes. And then we're also using extra, extra long basmati rice. Come back, brother. Oh, you wanna dance? Let's dance. Ouch, no bite. Let's dance. The onions are doing their thing. And then all these sort of brown bits in the bottom, we will lift and scrape. So our Brussels are crisp. I'm gonna try and manhandle this thing. Hot tips, here we go. I just wanna make sure that it's the right level of tenderness before I turn off the oven and stuff. So, it's soft, but it's not quite soft enough to be edible. So I'm gonna throw it back in for about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna pull the Brussels out because those are good to go. All it takes is a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of patience. Two cups of water. This is our rice, which has been rinsed until the water is clear and then soaked for 20 minutes. Yum, yum. The reason why we par-cooked the lentils <coughs> is so that they can be sort of soft and ready to go when the rice is ready to go. It looks like jumbo caviar. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's too much cinnamon. Just a bit, just a bit. Let the spice flow. Little bit of salt. Cover this and let it cook. And I'm gonna do my darndest to puree this bad boy. What is that? Cranberries. Should've just got a can of that uh, jellied cranberry. But I had this in my cabinet. I don't know, I think it'll still be good if it's a little chunky. Okay, I think we got all the goopy guts out of here. Who's those goopy stuff? It's what they hold on to in the middle of the squash. It is still very hot. Oh, we got an eye. Ah! Okay, let's put the other eye right here. It's a pumpkin. Pretty much. Okay. Oh, the one when I get what I say, no one. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> it makes dinner more fun when it's got a face on it. Hold on, demo brow. Demo brow. What do you think of that? Wow! Look at that. Oh. It smells so good. It smells like the 13th century. Oh, we're in the middle of the house of wisdom. Right before it was sacked by the Mongols. Oh, cameraman Ruby. You gotta get her in the frame. Look at me, can you see? What do I want to add? A little more. Oh. Oh. Sumac is really nice because it adds a tart kind of citrusy flavor without having to use citrus. <laughs> Can you say wiki cheese? Now we're going to combine it all through. This is going to be really nice and tart to kind of combat the uh, very salty, nutty, cheesy. Why don't you put that in there? Because it's a fun way to eat dinner. His mouth is too large. Mm. He's got a hot head. <gasps> so I, I think this squash is gonna need a little bit of salt. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, delish. Does it taste like the 13th century? I hope so. Rubbish everywhere, so let's just let it rip. Rubbish cook.